a day in the life of training with the winner of Ghana Fastest Human 2021, Miss Grace of World. <laughs> We have we have Empress. Um, Empress, can you tell us how it was for, for you today? Um, from a non-athlete's perspective, first time you've been to a track in your life. Yeah. Apart from watching Intaco. Intaco. How many years ago was that? That was let's say ten years. I've never recovered. Sort of. <laughs> okay, so Explain to the person on YouTube now, now. <laughs> Claremont, who has seen athletes on TV, he's seen Ghana athletes, seen US athletes. What is actually like to be training with an athlete who is an elite athlete? Well, first of all, for me, to my point of view, well, as to what I've always seen, I thought it's just easy. What you need to do is just get your boots, go to the track, and run. That's what I thought not knowing that you truly truly need to put in a lot lot of effort so today being my first time i actually experienced something different which i would say i truly truly respect every single athlete and those that even are trying who are not even at least but at least has time to go to the track and train it's not easy for me to try i think 150 or so yeah. the first start I thought yeah I can do it because seeing them doing their strikes and all that also try and did mine I thought yeah for me I can do it until we started I think I was even ahead she even gave me extra point just run I'll come and catch you and then she beat me it's not easy so even so now I still feel some pains it's not easy so I don't I think I have to take a week of rest <laughs> yeah. a week of rest yeah, yeah a week <laughs> Okay. Yeah, a week. All right. So, it's not easy. Uh, how, so, <laughs> how about some hours? Because we're coming. She's coming back tonight. So it's, it's only hours. Rest. Yeah, no, that's her. I'm not coming back. back. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let's carry on. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, Grace. So. Good day, you. How How do you think she she coped from your yes. point of view? As for this, uh, my sister, like what I have to tell her is, um, he's feeling shy. She's feeling shy. Like when um, she's running, the way people will look will be looking at her. She see herself like normal person. Like hey, I can't do it. I can't do it. What she have to do is to focus. Me training time. I don't talk to anyone. What I have to do is to focus, to listen to my coach, to listen to my leg, my toe, everything. She's feeling shy when she's running. The block, when she's about to set off, she's laughing. When she's running, she's looking at <laughs> her, uh, her back. If someone is laughing, she needs concentration. Right now, people will be laughing at you, but the future, when you are like, people are mentioning your name, this girl is doing well this guy you see you'll be like wow today they am very distant so what she have to do is to forget about shyness to focus on the track whatever she's doing yes she can yeah. do it <laughs> Thank you.
tell me, tell me about that infamous race in Kumasi. I was there myself, I saw it. The first thing that I said is, there's eight people who are in a race, only one knows they can actually win. Only one actually knows. All the rest of them believe they can win, want to win, but I was like, this is a done deal. Grace is going to win because she's willing to fight the most. So I saw her as a fight. Let me see, let me hear from your point of view. How was that race for you, the infamous um, final, of all finals it's called? Okay, um, last week Saturday, the race was very tough. Um, my heat, I was like, um, I did the time. I did the time of 11.97. Uh, 11.8 is, yeah. So I did a great destiny. And the, the, the second hit, I think Kate and um, Janet, the, their time was too close. So people were like, people were giving me pressure. Like if I focus on my destiny now, I would take the race. So, so I did was you have like, the fastest time going to the final? Yeah. Yeah, so I was leading, that I was leading. So people were giving me, um, they were pressuring me. So I was like, I was frustrated. I, I don't know what to do that time, but it's all the same. I was knowing that I'm, go I'm the one who's going to win, so by God's grace, I made it. So talk me through the race from, because you are Ghana's fastest under 18, you've been before, and now you're Ghana's fastest senior. Yeah, once again, I'm not, one thing is, I'm not a 100 meters um, runner, right? But I'm forcing to push myself into the distance. 100 and 200 people were like um kate will beat you janet and post i like that talking when people are saying this girl will beat you this yeah. girl, yes i like that just thing it give me more motivation like you will be there saying i'm sad what you are telling me but it always motivates me to improve more of my destiny what people were saying that make me like confidence like i can do it with the uh, last two weeks, the, the, the 100 meters, I did 12. I was not um, happy with my time. 12.17 or 12.12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, yeah. Yeah, I was not happy with my time, but the heat I did last week, Saturday, I was so excited. So when uh, kids and uh, Janet did their own destiny, time I saw that I'm the one like mm -hmm. leading. I was so excited and I, I was having, uh, my coach, Came close to me that I'm the one who is leading, so you know that I'm 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 going to win. I should focus, like so. That time I was like pitching, like and the meta imagery. The, yes, in my just in my mind, what I have to do is to pray and warm up and stretch, listening to what my coach always told me after that. So I did exactly what he always told me. I did the same thing. But I knew the person who is willing to fight the most, who has it in their heart, is going to win. Because ultimately, it comes down to your fight. When it gets to the, the Olympic final, no, nobody's thinking I'm going to look good and everyone's like, let me get to the line first. Now the training will prepare you to get there. Yeah. If you train well, you normally do, even if you do 90% of what you do in training, normally it's better than what happens in, in the race. So you have to just rely on your training, thanks to coach, and say, you know what, this training is going to get me there. No matter how, I don't really care how I get there, but I'll get there. So the gun goes off for the final. What happens? Yes, it only mean between my God. Was you, was you nervous before you got to the line? Was you, what Wait, you were you afraid? No, I was not afraid at all. One thing about me is like if it's the the this the, the last time there, yeah, I always be afraid. But this level, I've never. Oh, you afraid mean, when of it comes to race people in Ghana, you're never afraid? Even outside. outside. He yes. used to be afraid, but now when he's, uh, when she's going to run races, she's You not see, afraid. I always compete with Janet and Kate, yes. So, right now, I that. use that, so I'm not afraid of anyone. What I have to do is to communicate with my, tra uh, my lane, my hand, and my, my knee. So... When you have time with your body and your leg, you made it. So is that something that you learned from coach? Or? Yes. Okay. That's what my, my my coach always told me that I should concentrate whenever I'm on track. I should concentrate. So is that a spiritual thing or is that just something that you learned to be an athlete or? Yes. One thing is um, when you are um, when you are faster, you 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 don't have to tell yourself like I'm. Um, 
I'm good, so I don't have to learn something from this. I'm a kind of person like when I came to training, I don't be like this. This person is a guy or a man or a woman, so I'll not learn something. I always learn something from um, my running mates. If the person is a guy or yeah, but not the bad thing. I always learn the good, uh, yeah, the positive things from them. Yes. So, coach. From a spectator's point of view, tell me about the race. Well, um, um, yeah. well, myself was a bit nervous uh, going into the race. Uh, I got closer to her. Look, girl, you are having the leading time, but that doesn't mean that you have you have, you have won the day yet. You are still you still have to go there to confirm it that yeah, I'm still having the leading time. What you're going to do is keep your focus. When you get to the line, take a deep breath. See yourself, I mean, on the block, hitting the block, the drive phase, acceleration, and you power. Think about those things. Think about how you are going to celebrate it. And anytime something negative cross to your mind, kill it and replace it with the positive. Just keep your focus. Grace, Grace is, is a fighter. A fighter. When, when Grace is going to run, she's a fighter. Kids have been beating her almost all the time in the 100 meters, but she never stopped running with her. So, a spectator point of view, I was nervous, but when she got, he, she hit the block, and after the drive phase, I was like, yeah, my girl is going to win. Look, uh, Janet was the surprise of the day. You know, I love the way that girl ran. After running the heat, I was like, wow, this girl is coming to pull a shock if girl is not taken. Because she was able to come with Kate until the end of the race in the heat. I was like, look, Kate look a bit relaxed running. Maybe Kate want to reserve energy for the final. I got cl close to my girl and I was like, look, to win the race, you must win from the block. If you really want to win the race, you have to win from the block. Because you are not a typical 100 meters runner. You are running with typical 100 meters. To, to win, your block must be your savior. Secondly, you must get the drive phase correct. Because when you are up with them at once, then you have to tailgate. You will be chasing from behind, which will be bad for you. But when you are close to them, you should be able to finish with them and maintain the, 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 the exposure to the end. And she did exactly that. That's, that tells you how focused she was. She said when she came to the line, she, she was looking at herself, how she was going to celebrate. You know, if you are taking our celebration, then you should be thinking about what you are going to do that will end you that celebration. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she, she, she was thinking how she would celebrate. So she was thinking about the, the mental imagery. She was trying to imagine herself doing all the things, the, 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 the reaction, the drive phase, the acceleration, uh, uh, maintaining of p speed and crossing the line. And, and you, could, you could see the way she celebrated the race. So, you know, you, you realize that those, are, those things are pre-meditated, you see? And, I've never, I've never seen her celebrated like that. So, actually, we, we had a, a, a section with the psychologist before, okay. yeah, the, the grand finale. Okay. So uh, the dietary uh, sponsor a psychology that came to speak with the athletes, how to uh, practice the meta imagery, the meta rehearsals, how to maintain their focus, everything before the race. And good enough, I was happy in general because the guys, even though they didn't win. They all run their personal best. Someone from 10.7 to 10.36, and someone from uh, another from 10.7 to 10.4, and another one from uh, 11.23 to 10.99. So I think uh, psychology and sports. Uh, that that one is is well documented. Um, any elite athlete is 80 percent psychology, 20 percent mechanics, physical. Because everyone trains hard when they yeah. get to elite athlete. There's nobody who's going to be at the Olympic final who only trains once a week. Everyone trains hard. Train hard. But it's the mind that people forget to train sometimes. So yeah, I'm glad that, I mean, I, I never knew this. I know she, she was happy, she looks relaxed. But now you're talking about it, it makes sense. She looks like she was in control of this situation. Well, you know, uh, like Grace said, there were a lot of talks. Uh, Kate will beat you. You know, I will get close to my, look, girl, you listen to me. The other ones is hearsay, hearsay. I'm with you, we have been training, we know what we are doing. So those are the things you have to replicate in the track. The rest are going to be story. A K to beat you, K to, you also have your fans, she has a fan. And actually the part of it I enjoyed when they cross the line, they hug each other and yeah. you know, they had a conversation before walking out. I think, yeah, that show uh, sportsmanship. What's your plans now that you're officially your garners fastest 100 meter runner and um, third fastest in Africa in the 400 meters 
What are your plans going forward? Um, I know this year is um, Olympic this year. Olympic year. Actually, I'm not yet qualified for um, the this thing, the time they want. I'm not qualified, but I'm mm. still working hard to improve. Um, whenever they host the competition, if they call to go and represent Ghana, um, I'll make sure that I'm going to run the time to qualify to for the Olympics Games. Yeah, that's what I'll have to say. Okay, so you're hoping to get the qualifying time in 100 or 400? 400, 400, both. Okay, so in regards to that, is there any other competitions that you've got planned to come forward or you're waiting? I'm, w I'm, I'm just training. If they called me, um, I will go. Yes, I'm ready. So, coach, that must be quite hard for you because you, you can't plan. Well, uh, uh, it has always been like this. Uh, as coaches, uh, the competitions are not consistent and then uh, we usually have to compromise our programs to suit a competition because you can just be training all of a sudden there's this competition that you have to go, which is, doesn't go on or work with that. So, uh, it's, it's such a difficult thing. Right now, she had only one 400 meters in the year and this happened to be an Olympic year. Uh, I think uh, she's preparing for Kaduna and uh, I hope it happened that she goes and she can improve over there again. If, if she, she gets another, the windows, windows, windows are still open, open. Yeah. the uh, Olympics window is still open. I think we have after June for it to close. So if she can get a lot of competitions of some few competitions to run within that time before the window closes, I believe in her that she will be able to make the uh, qualifying time for the Olympics. Thank you very much. Is there anything that you would like to add or anything you want to say? She's tired, she's hungry. Well, well what, 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 what I want to say is, is that athletics is as good as football. And for the fact that uh, football is a well-sponsored sport in Ghana, doesn't prevent government, stakeholders, uh, the, the general public to support the athlete. Because it's not the fault of a child to have a different talent as compared to football so we should we should be in a position to support every sport that a child wants to do whether cricket whether uh, basketball swimming and any other thing so that if, because the way things are going if care is not taken parents will be telling their kids hey if you're not going to do uh, football don't play sports which, which is, is bad, bad. All, all of us, us cannot have the same talent. talent. The same way, even in the classroom, all of us are not the same. The way we decode information is uh, totally different. So we should. The, the athletics team have shown it. We from 2019 till now, we have shown a lot of. Uh, it's, it's so visible that if chances are given to this athlete, they should be up here, there, uh, struggling in our with the like of America, Great Britain, Jamaica, and the, the, the likes. So let's let's support the athletes. Let's invest in athletics. All the athletes right now are in the investors. Almost all the top athletes in Ghana currently are in the investi. Safu Hassan is in the investi. Gadai is in the investi. Grace is in the investi. Uh, Isaac Butu is in the investi. Solomon Hammer in the all the eight athletes that you saw running the final over there, they are all in the investors. They are all investi athletes. But right now, what are we doing to sustain them? Yeah, the, the, the various investors have given them scholarship. But is that enough? You see, just academic scholarship. As academic scholarship yeah, yeah, just, just for fee paying. You you just pay uh, the university just pay your fees. So let's 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 put a package. Let let's just put a package. Follow the athletes from secondary school. What next? Okay, uh, you, we call University of Ghana. Hey, uh, can we get this 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 uh, athlete here? And then we are going to pay this. We are going to take care of his feeding. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, UDS, uh, this girl, this guy wants to do this course. Can you take care of uh, him or her for us? You see, when we are doing that, then we are preparing champions. Not that we wait, the athletes struggle, run the time. That is when we want to come in. The government want to come in. Uh, the federation want to come in. GOC want to come in. You see, that is what is killing the sports. And we something needs to be done now. If we want, we are hosting 2023. African Games, 
this is the uh, you know every every when journalists talk they talk about infrastructure no one is talking about the athlete so if care is not taken we are going to prepare the stage for people to come and dance as we are we will become spectators you see it happened in the uh, the african uh, women uh, championship here we prepared the stage and then we couldn't even play in in the final you see we, we, I believe that the crop of athletes that have eight athletes that run the final at the Ghana fastest. The eight athletes run, that run the final at the uh, GA uh, Championship, the 400 meters. You know, let's identify, and uh, uh, Ampersand is doing great in the, uh, uh, the long distance run, uh, uh, run. Let's get those kids, put them together, at least get them some meat to run. Let, let, let their confidence level, you know, experience is not sold in the market. You need to you need to get to those meets to be able to have those exposure to prepare you for the 2023. If those things are not done, I'm afraid. We, you can't wait for three weeks to competition and come and be promising me when you win gold this, you win gold that. What goes into winning the gold? It's preparation, and the preparation must be now. It must be now. So I I urge uh, the corporate Ghana. Uh, GOC, uh, uh, the, the uh, Athletics Federation, all lovers of athletics to support the athletes today as they keep uh, training towards the 2023. Well said. Thank you very much. You hurt yourself. Hmm? It's, it's just like there's no motivation in the jump. Huh? So when you come here, I mean, push yourself high and then you land on the block, the, on the box. Good. That's it. Take your time. You are, you, are, you are in a haste. Take your time. Easy. Land flat. Up. Good. This difficult. Up. That's it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Go. All right, skip this one, skip it. Skip, go, go back like this. Come here and jump this one. Mm -hmm. right, let's go. Good. Up, land on your, land flat. When you're landing on your toe, that's when you go forward. Good. All right, all right, sprint. Good. Do it. Empress, anything that you want to say to Grace? Yeah, yeah, I've truly, truly just within some few hours that we've spent together, I can really see that she's quite determined and all that, and she's willing to do everything to become who she is now, and it's quite good, very, very good. And I can see how everything goes, how she listens to her coach as well, which I think he plays a big role in all her trainings and all that. And that's the only thing I'll say is for her to keep it up. And I wish her all the best. But I hope one day I'll be able to beat her. <laughs> yeah. How? Because moving up from here, I'm just going to tell myself I will do it. Next time I won't look at anybody. I'm not going to laugh. Once I come, I'm just going to run and beat her. Ah, you can do it. Okay. That's, all right. That's thank you very much. And thank you for the interview. Thank you for the training session. Um, so now, with that, you can sign off by saying thank you. Um, so we are done, right? Day in the life of training with Yeah. And then he will ask so, you questions until you ah, forget what you need to say. Can, can you take a picture of us? Ah! <laughs> Again. You didn't even do the training. You are taking pictures. Right, I love have mercy Grace, on have you. I not train, train you before? No, I won't be training. Have I answered the question? I won't be training. Have I not trained with you before? Yes or no? Yes just, or no? Just last night, get your spikes. You are going to run and all that. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's oh, let me pull my top. Guys, guys, when you get here, I want to see a sprint, a sprint. That's it. Up. Good. Squat, squat, squat. Good. Up. 
Up. Good. Don't shuffle. Just move. Good. Uh huh. Good. 